Good evening, I'm Mike Hargrove with the Abington Area Joint Recreation Board and welcome to the Lakeside Concert Series at Hillside Park on Winola Road. The concert is a showcasing of the American Heritage and Cultural Music Series. These concerts are made possible by the support of the Lackawanna Heritage Valley Association, Fidelity Bank, and Penn Security Bank. Tonight's band is sponsored by the Abington Youth Soccer League. I'm here with, with uh, Ian Bake. I'm here with Ian O'Hara of our featured band tonight, the Coal Town Rounders. Ian, can you tell us how the uh, band got its name and how long you guys have been playing together? Um, the band's been together for about four years. I've been playing for two. Um, I'm not sure how they got the name because I wasn't an original member of, of the band. I think somebody that has since left the band actually came up with the name. Okay. So. Um, and what kind of music uh, can folks expect to hear tonight? Uh, we mostly play uh, traditional bluegrass repertoire. We play some some rock stuff in a bluegrass style too so it's, it's traditional string band upright bass banjo mandolin and acoustic guitar and vocal harmonies who are your fellow band members and what instruments do they perform on uh, i play banjo chris carney uh, is the the main lead singer he plays guitar also matt hiller plays mandolin and sings and jason zarnowski plays upright bass and sings now i know you played abington youth soccer I did. and i I saw you play basketball quite a bit, and you were pretty fancy with the basketball. Um, can we expect the same thing with your banjo picking tonight? Uh, I, I try to, to uh, do as, as much improvising as I can and, and stay outside of what, what you would expect from completely traditional banjo players. So I try to do some weird stuff and, and get some jazz-oriented stuff in there, too. So maybe, maybe it'll be as fancy. We'll see. We, we hope to have some kids out on the field playing uh, soccer during the... Uh, concert tonight. Okay. Uh, you expect you'll be out there joining them a little bit or your the legs getting a little bit too old and weary for that? Yeah, I don't know about that. I, I feel like uh, I can't <laughs> I can't keep up anymore. <laughs> I might hurt myself <laughs> if I try to get out there. How about so, have you been to the park in a while or is this your first time since you know you were uh, a kid? I don't think I've been here. I refed some soccer when I was in college so maybe that's the last time I was I was in this park I haven't been here since I don't think so yeah there's a lot going on here there's something here pretty much for everyone we've got a dog park here we've got a boundless playground uh, for for everybody we've got uh, a great grass soccer field we've got a brand new artificial turf field here the softball fields uh, we've got the pavilion here the lake for fishing there's a uh, trail that goes around most of the lake. Uh, there's nature trails, and there's lots of lots of wildlife here. I've seen I've seen fox. I've seen uh, bobcat here. Oh, wow. I've seen uh, there's an eagle across the road. We oh, see wow. him every couple of weeks. That's, that's you know, amazing. hawks. There's a blue heron that hangs out just on the other side of the lake oh, there. Okay. So yeah, it's that's a really great. really neat place for everybody. Yeah, I'll have to come and check it out more often, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> what are what are some of the pros and cons for you guys as a band playing uh, in an outdoor venue? Um, Outdoor venue is always nice, especially for bluegrass music. We do a lot of bluegrass festivals and stuff. They're always outdoor, and people are camping and stuff. So I, we don't. Really, there's no real cons to it. I guess sound is a little bit more difficult to get it to carry as far when you're not in an enclosed space. But it's still. I mean, it's it's nice to play outside. So we should have had you playing out on out towards the lake, and then the sound would have carried a little better, right? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. I think it'll be okay under the pavilion. We'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> where where can folks find out a little bit? more information about your band and where you guys will be performing again. Uh, we're on we're on Facebook, which is just facebook.com slash the Coal Town Rounders. And then we have a website, coaltownrounders.com. Um, I think there's links on there to the music also. Those are the two best two best spots. We, we try to update everything and make sure everybody knows where we're going to be. Uh, Hillside Park is a joint uh, cooperative venture of five municipalities, Clark Summit, Clark Screen, Glenburn, Waverly, and South Abington. Uh, the park is maintained and managed by the Abington Area Joint Recreation Board, which is composed of appointed volunteers from all the municipalities. Uh, thanks, Ian, for your, uh, your time, and uh, let's get on with the show. Yeah. 
Lakeside Con a lot of everything's next to something in this world. And thankfully, we're next to the pizza. Be careful. Yeah, Jason was late because they had we had to fill out a lot of paperwork to get him out. Um, have enough time to do the clearance. It's, uh, it's important.
Lakeside Park Concert Series, featuring, uh, being brought to you proudly, right, by, by the Abington Journal. Wow, serving the greater Abington community since 1947. For, yeah. You guys get the Abington Journal? Yeah, since 1947. That's over a hundred years of coverage here in the Abingtons. It's a long time. Also, uh, we're brought to you by the, just tonight, but maybe, I don't know, maybe if they like us, maybe more, by the Abington Youth Soccer League. Yeah. Jason, were you on the team for that? Yes, he was. He was at All Star. My cousin was on the All Star. I went to one practice. I got the t shirt, the inside out one. It's gold on one side and blue on the other. It's not very good for when it's hot out. It's like wearing two t shirts. See? You got one. Right there. That's gold. That's the away team. And then the home team is blue. <laughs> Yeah, show the nice folks. I believe we're on television right now. So uh, I hope I don't say anything weird. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. My family's here, so I might, I might just get weird just by default.
Thank you. One more? Okay. We're going to do one more and we're going to take a, a, a station identification break. Um, we're going to do a, someone's going to get interviewed. Who's going to get interviewed? No, no, no. Okay. Ian got interviewed. Ian O'Hara here. Um, he's, his dad just had a birthday the other day. Dr. Carl O'Hara over there at the O'Hara Chiropractic. Keeping us all in good posture. My posture brought to you by Dr. Carl O'Hara. Uh, you want the G there? The uh, slew foot? Hey, who's getting interviewed? Me? Not me. y'all to know that we tune because we care. That's why we're, we're doing that. So we're going to play a, a tune here uh, about a pesky old bear. We had one up at the house the other day. He tore down the bird feeder. I wasn't afraid of him. Tell him about the bear, Ian.
much. We'll be back in a little bit after this message from our sponsors. Skip. Well, the band's taking a break right now, and we're here with Leo Tully, president of the Abington Youth Soccer League. Uh, sponsor of tonight's band. The concert series is a showcasing of the American Heritage and Cultural Music Series. The 10-week event is made possible by our major sponsors, the Lackawanna Heritage Valley Association, Fidelity Bank, and Penn Security Bank. Uh, so, Leo, uh, what do you think of the music, music so far? Wonderful. Great. My nephew Ian, the uh, banjo player, local musician. Very good so far. Um, tell folks a little bit about the Abington Youth Soccer League. Abington Youth Soccer League is essentially two divisions, one travel division and a rec division. The rec division has about a thousand players in age groups from U5 up to uh, U18. Uh, basically, uh, just about a thousand kids play each year um, in uh, the eight different age groups on about uh, five or so different fields. So the league's been playing up at the park here for uh, 25 years 25 or so. Years. Yes, actually started in 19. 88. Uh, have you seen many changes uh, in the fields here since then? Oh yeah, particularly in the last few years. Uh, the uh, the uh, new so uh, field turf field up there will basically be uh, the venue for a lot of our games this year. It'll allow us to play after inclement weather. Uh, it'll basically allow us to play evening games, which you've never had the opportunity to play. Uh, it'll allow basically other other uh, sporting, you know, entities in the Abington area like Abington Youth Soccer or Abington uh, Junior Comets Football is practicing up there right now. They're going to be practicing there during the week. We're going to have uh, soccer games throughout the day, Saturday evenings during the week, starting August 31st. We're going to basically uh, be sharing with other uh, Abington sports teams. And how and why did uh, a sports league uh, get involved as a sponsor of a band in, in a lakeside concert like this? Well, the Abington Youth Soccer League essentially has been working for all these years with uh, the uh, with the uh, joint rec board and they're working you know together to raise money to mutually support each other in their different you know different uh, uh, works we have a venue here for three of our five age groups play here very important uh, we have other the other uh, places where we play are OLP school the middle school but uh, this is where uh, like I said three of our eight age groups play Several hundred kids play here every Saturday and during the week, uh, evening games, and it's a very good venue, and we have to be part of supporting it as a, as a good member of the community. There have been more and more folks coming to the park over the last few years. Uh, why do you think that might be? Well, particularly in the last few years is all the upgrades. We essentially, uh, well, I should say the rec board with help from the community, a lot of community volunteers, sport organizations like the AYSL, like the Junior Common Football, like uh, the soccer, uh, Abington uh, Girls Softball, uh, 2,000 players for three different sport entities that uh, basically have great places to play their sports. The, there's been multiple upgrades, particularly there's been handicap accessibility added here for uh, Wilson Lake here. This is a stocked fishing pond for year-round fishing, ice fishing. There's guys out here f ice fishing in the winter all summer long. This is not unusual, the number of fishermen you see here. If you drive by here any Saturday or any Sunday, there's plenty, there's half a dozen or more people fishing all the time. It's a great place. Not to mention uh, there's a dog park up top. Uh, there's a uh, there's a boundless playground for kids with uh, with uh, physical limitations. I believe the whole idea behind that. Uh, th so basically, there's a lot for everybody. All age groups benefits. There's everything for all different people, from fishing to sports to to uh, concerts in the park. Would you like to see the concert series uh, be continued next year? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it benefits everybody involved. Local musicians. It benefits AYSL tonight. It benefits uh, well the rec board particularly, which works with AYSL all year long to provide soccer for the youth of uh, not just the Abington area, but all over the place. AYSL is open to all communities. But uh, yeah, it uh, benefits everybody. Uh, parents can come, relax for two hours. Their kids have plenty of places to play. They can play soccer. They can fish. They can go up, you know, play on the boundless playground. There's something for everybody. It's a great opportunity for young kids to get involved and in, get around live music and enjoy that. So hopefully we get another generation that enjoys and supports uh, live musicians. Leo, thanks a lot. Uh, I'd like to mention some of our media sponsors, uh, 94.3 The Talker, 105 uh, The River, Lamar and the Abington Journal, and special thanks uh, to the folks who uh, make this possible uh, every week. One of them is our videographer, Skip Ward, our photographer, Yvette Collins, uh, Lori Harris, our weekly coordinator, Lori McCoy, our on-site coordinator, uh, Billy Brandenburg with his uh, photography dis display, and the park crew. Uh, Tim, Timmy McCoy, uh, Brian Veets, 
uh, Ray Vasiliga and Roger Jacobs, who do a great job. And finally, uh, Diane Vietz, whose vision and tireless efforts, efforts uh, have helped bring this all about on behalf of uh, bringing the community together. Uh, thank you, and uh, let's get back to, the, back to the music for tonight. Thank you. All right. children and they all like to dance right guys <laughs> I like how they, they stack up by height that's important
service announcement brought to you by the Abington Journal, serving the greater Abington area since 1947. Over a hundred years of coverage of the greater Abington area. That's not a hundred years, they say.
you guys know that we are on television, so be careful. Everybody be careful. Catch me another man, that's the end, little girl. 
Well, the Edmonton Soccer League is, uh, is grateful to have us, I think, all here. Is there a game tonight, practice? Because all their jerseys are down here. I hope they know that. That's okay, they have an earlier bedtime than I do, and that's quite all right. They're very young children. That's very, that's acceptable. That's encouraged. But uh, this is a song uh, that, it's, it's a, the name of a dance is in the song. It's the, it's the Tennessee Waltz. Pennsylvania. There's lots of songs about Pennsylvania.
See, I, I I'll admit when I'm wrong. But Pennsylvania doesn't even rhyme with anything. It rhymes with Transylvania. Yeah. Yeah. It does. You got a point, sir. This, this changes everything. <laughs> See that, uh, my lord, my son, free. This is a little gospel number. So you may not have to go to church on Sunday. We've got you covered. Outside of while the band plays inside of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you want to do that out deep river, please? Can you take the kick off? All right. Here's the old, uh, I believe it's the Delmore Brothers uh, song. Deep river blues. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that girl's having probably the most fun here. Rolling down the hill. It's a little dizzy, but she's having a great time. Ready? One, two, three, and she two, four.
television like right now. It's live, isn't it? There's, yeah, it's live. Well, I, you don't know how much of a wild card I could be. <laughs> I've never been on television before. My sister was, though. Mm. When she was in first grade. She, uh, with the, uh, the brownies, they had some kind of project, they were recycling newspapers. But then, the show got cut in by the Gulf War. And we never saw it, never aired. She was for a second. like fades, like wipes? Is there gonna be like, am I gonna have subtitles? Like everything fades out like in diamonds everywhere? Like, psh. Boy, I hope, I hope you edit this part out. All right, here's another gospel number so you don't want to go to church. Next week, either.
you now, Bruce. He might be the coolest dude ever. Bruce Springsteen. Right, it's probably the second coolest band <laughs> in this gazebo. Like I said, we have CDs for sale. If you'd like to purchase one, they're only five dollars. We're a recording engineer left. So okay, I was gonna thank him, but he's gone. If I was on top of a mountain, I'd sail into the west. I'd sail all around this old wide world. To the girl I love the best. Now that if I don't listen to what mama said, I would not have been in vain. Well, I had a brown bear so damn high. Stop 
like to shut my mouth, she probably like this. So I'll buy a pretty dress and wear it out tonight. I'm ready up for the downstairs. Oh, Ben, still, be my wedding wheel. Slack, my family going home early. Honestly, they are so loud. See them all parade out through here? They're proud of me, though. They tell me every time, Christopher, we're so proud of you. Thanks, guys. We are the Coal Town Rounders. We're from, we're from right around here. And Ian was on the basketball team. Were you on the soccer team, too? Yeah. He was on the soccer team. The See? I went to trail, so did Matt. He, Jason went to Mountain View. We're local. This is, we're homegrown people. Don't hold it. That's why I, yeah. I'm ready for that. It all makes sense that I don't know how many years is 100. I know lots of people who went to college after high school that I went to school with. Tactical college. So this is our final song of the evening, and uh, we are uh, very pleased to be here, and uh, hope they invite us back for the, for the next year's concert series. There are four more concerts here at Hillside Park in Clark Summit, Pennsylvania, USA, America, out there in TV land. And Skippy told me to tell people where this is because there it's on television. People on television don't know anything, right? And wait. People can't, see. they can only see what they can see. That's pretty far out. It's really like existentialism. They can only see what they can see. So this is our final song in the evening, and I thank everyone uh, for coming out. Showing support for this great, uh, this park, and the Abington Soccer League, and, uh, and the Abington Journal. Since 1947, I was actually surprised about that. I thought it was at least, at least over 100 years of great service. Daily delivery. It's a daily paper, right? 1947, after the war, they started. It all changed when the Average Journal came about. How did people get their news before that? The town crier would come out. <laughs> oh! And do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's all making sense to me now.
so very much. We're the Cold Time Islanders. We'll see you real soon. Be careful on your way home. Be kind to your neighbors. And God bless America.